Hi, I'm Jeremy Ruland, and I'm here to talk to you about my FNIR brain scanning project. FNIR, or Functional Near Infrared Spectroscopy, is a way of measuring blood oxygen concentration non-invasively. So basically, I want to produce a device you can wear in your head that will measure the amount of oxygen used by different parts of your brain, which gives you a measure of brain activity. You may have heard of fMRI or similar being used in brain research. Now, what I'm building can't see deeply into the brain like an MRI can, but it has the advantage of not costing millions of dollars, and it's about as light as a cell phone. It works like a photoplasmograph that you could buy from a health and fitness store, it measures the reflection of different frequencies of light off of the blood. Only my device uses near-infrared light that can pass through the skull easily. The device will measure activity in 16 different locations, and from research that I've read out of Cornell University and Drexel University, that's sufficient to identify concentration level, and uh, they've used it to control characters in a video game. I've got my PCBs, and the parts have arrived this afternoon from DigiKey. So the firmware, as well as nearly finished, I'll be 3D printing uh, an assemblage that actually holds the device to my scalp. Um, and I haven't met any uh, major hurdles, so everything's on schedule. I'm planning on designing some uh, simple visualization software, probably in processing, to graphically display the results or move a cursor around the screen in response to different activity levels. I'd really like to see if I can get results from the motor cortex. That's the part of the brain right up around here. Um, and if that works, then it would be useful for controlling prosthetic limbs or natural movement in virtual reality or video games. Uh, there's really a huge range of different things you could do with a technology like this if it's affordable. Anyway, thank you for watching, and make sure you visit my project on hackaday.io, and uh, give me a skull if you like it.